Hey guys, welcome back to All in the Law. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about allergic allergic rhinitis. Allergic rhinitis. So you know very well this is you might have suffered from this disease. So it's a really very common. So I'm gonna talk very briefly about this. Okay. So remember the important point over here is it's an IgE mediated okay IgE mediated response to an allergen causing the inflammation of what you call the mucous membrane of a nasal cavity nasal so nasal mucous membrane so it's a kind of inflammation to the nasal mucous membrane by the IgE mediated response to an allergen right so there are so many allergens in our environment right like pollen allergy like a dust allergy the mite allergy so many allergies right so this is really very common remember the sign and symptoms in this patients with the what you call sign and symptoms they will have a sneezing you know very well watery nasal discharge that's really very common red watery eyes okay red watery eyes because of the what you call the blockage of uh, nasolacrimal duct right if this is the eye and this is the nose this is a duct right nasolacrimal duct from nose to uh, lacrimal gland so here in the medial canthus of the eye this is the eye so if there is any uh, mucous membrane so it blocks this and ultimately it leads to or it sometimes the fluid at ascends over here and causes a red eye and the watery eyes and the lacrimal uh, whatever tears you have will not pass through this it will pass on this so as if it looks like he or she is crying okay and as it is IgE mediated response to an allergen the patient will have itchy ears eyes nose and the throat okay and nasal blow obstruction is really very common and very irritating uh, so that's due to the edema remember so due to the edema it's due to the edema okay so there is a horizontal crease on the nose that occurs from constant rubbing known as allergic salute allergic salute okay in a patient with um, allergic rhinitis because of the constant rubbing that forms a horizontal crease okay and remember um, the other thing is that the children with this allergic rhinitis, uh, they can have a rabbit-like nose because of the wrinkling of the, because of the nose wrinkling, that's because of the pruritis, okay? Now diagnosis is a characteristic finding in the physical examination, okay? The boggy bluish mucous membrane of the nose, boggy bluish the mucous membrane of the nose, dark circles around the eyes. Allergic salute, as I said, rabbit nose, as I said, allergic salute is a horizontal crease on the nose that occurs from a constant rubbing. And a rabbit nose is nothing but what you call wrinkling of the nose due to pruritis. Okay, the smear of a nasal secretion will show a high number of eosinophils. fills. So how do you treat it? The treatment is very simple. Avoid the trigger. Okay, if you're allergic to pollen grains, avoid going nearby the plants. Uh, if you're allergic to dust mite, avoid going nearby the carpets, okay, or any bed sheet, try to clean every time, and try to, and you can use antihistamines, okay, antihistamines are really very helpful, decongestant, okay, chromaline nasal solution, and the topical steroids can be used. For a blockage of the nose, you can use what you call, um, uh, salt solution, uh, normal saline, and that will help to dissolve the mucus the thick mucus and helps in the what you call uh, breathing okay guys so this is brief discussion about the allergic rhinitis thank you so much for watching this video take care